Hello everyone, my name is Urvi and I create regular videos on peer-to-peer -peer pathway and immigration in Canada. Today, I have come in front of you with a big question. Are you someone who missed out on the peer-to-peer pathway? Or do you know an international graduate, any of your friend or anyone you know, who was supposed to apply for peer-to-peer pathway but couldn't, right? Did they miss out on peer-to-peer pathway? If the answer is yes, I have a good news for you. A new Newfoundland job matching pathway has been released and this is open for international graduates living anywhere across Canada. And this is valid for international graduates with a valid postgraduate work permit. All right. And in this video, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this new job matching pathway how you can apply step by step and how to make sure that your application is strong and things like that so i'll drop in few tips um, so stay tuned for the entire video if you have already applied under tier 2 pr pathway make sure you share with your friend who can benefit from this new pathway all right okay so let's get started first let me tell you a little bit about this pathway so newfoundland launches new pathways for job matching program for immigrants now what does this job matching mean job matching essentially means that the immigration department is acting as a platform where they are inviting the employers to come to them with open jobs and they are inviting international students and other individuals with open work permit to apply for this open jobs and to see if they are in a skill set which is in demand in newfoundland right so essentially they are inviting both employers as well as job seekers and after accepting the applications, Newfoundland will decide whom to give the invitation to apply for permanent residency. So unlike TR to PR pathway, this is not a limited time or this is not uh, a very first in first out kind of a program. It is more like apply and they will choose the applicants who qualified for this program, right? So it gives a fair chance and gives everyone an opportunity to make a strong case to Newfoundland to give you permanent residency, right? So that's a little bit uh, and like an overview. Now lo let's look at uh, the details. So the department said that the department is now accepting applications from international graduates with a valid post work permit living anywhere in Canada. So earlier it was restricted, but now they've opened up only on October 13th. This was opened up. So very recently, this was opened up for international graduates living anywhere in Canada. And the pathway has two different sets of applicants who can apply so one would be international graduates with postgraduate work permit and the second one would be open work permit holders living throughout the canada right so these are the two sets of people who can apply for this pathway okay so in this video i'm going to show you a little bit more about the pathway i'm going to show you how to apply and then we'll also look at in-demand professions in newfoundland because they will be selecting from the pool of applicants so you need to make sure that uh, your profile is strong enough as well as it meets the in-demand uh, professions uh, but regardless if it meets or does not meet, I would highly recommend you to just apply because there is no fees to apply. Just apply and see what happens, right? So let's get started. So let's first look into uh, the pathway a little bit more. Okay, so I'll, I'll be putting this link in the description below. So go ahead and check it out for yourself. But on October 13th, there was an announcement made on uh, Newfound Labrador's website. And what they said was that earlier this pathway was from only open from September 29th to October 13th. So very limited time frame. And the department received a lot of inquiries from international graduates elsewhere in Canada. So earlier it was limited for international graduates within Newfound Labrador. Now, because there were a lot of questions from other 
um, international graduates outside of the province they decided to open this pathway up for international graduates living anywhere in Canada and who is interested in moving to Newfoundland and Red River for a long term, right? So if you're someone, you should definitely check this out and apply. The pathway is now actively seeking applicants. So that's what we just discussed. And um, they have also said that they have a target to immigrate about 5,100 permanent residents annually by 2026. Right now, they are somewhere around 1,800 to 1,900 permanent residents a year. But the province has a big push to bring more population within the province right now there is very low population and hence the economy is uh, not as great as ontario right definitely because of the low uh, population but what the provincial government wants to do is they want to promote population growth and hence the economy will grow as well so uh, for that reason they have this uh, good immigration target of 5,100 permanent residents annually by 2026, right? So this pathway is a result of that. Now they have said that applicants with questions can send their inquiries directly to this uh, email. So if you're someone with specific questions, feel free to send your questions and inquiries to this pathway. I'm not 100% sure how fast they will, you know, come back and give you answers but feel free to definitely go ahead and send your questions now in order to complete this application you need your work permit you need your resume and a little bit about your job profile like your knock code and things like that right so it's a very simple and quick application but before you go ahead with this application make sure you have a very up-to-date resume in a good format listing out all the responsibilities you uh, you know you have done in the past and you would like to do in future and things like that so make sure you have a strong resume because they will be picking and choosing the applicants right and 5100 seems like a big number but if there are let's say 20000 applicants then 5000 is you know one out of four applicants they will be choosing so and again, they haven't said that they will be choosing 5,100. This is their target by 2026. So this year it can be just 2,000 or like 2,500 or 3,000. We don't know that number, right? But um, my advice is make sure your resume is really strong before going ahead and applying. Okay, and let's look at a little bit more impl uh, information here. So they've said that one of the reasons why they want to drive this is because, uh, you know, in population growth and uh, they want to support immigration and uh, they feel like supporting integration and settlement of newcomers, including employment, training, foreign. So they are giving a lot of support to anyone coming to Newfoundland and Labrador. They are developing a new online application system to make it easier for uh, the newcomers to settle in uh, the province. They are launching uh, new promotional marketing campaigns to make sure more um, individuals are aware about the province and want to move there, right? And they are increasing the immigration staff as well in the province. They are adding English schools and instructors, and they are increasing training for provincial government staff to better support the newcomers. So overall, they are doing, they are going ahead with a lot of support activities uh, to make sure the newcomers are well supported within the province. And who knows, by 2026, they might, the province would do so good that so many uh, immigrants would have moved to the province, the economy would thrive and grow eventually, right? All right, so this was a little bit about the pathway and information. I have already put the link in the description below, so go ahead and check it out. And now we will look into the in-demand professions. Because they will be choosing uh, the applicants, it's important to see what are some of the in-demand professions in Newfoundland uh, to just make sure that you stand a good chance or bad, stand, bad chance, right? You need to gauge yourself how uh, easy or difficult would it be for you to get the permanent residency in Newfoundland Rabbitter. Okay, so I found a very interesting article here for uh, Newfoundland and um, 
so earlier in 2020 so 2020 they released a list of healthcare professionals who were in demand so they were all like licensed uh, nurse uh, practice nurse personal care uh, attendant physicians um, and all the medical like medical physicists uh, radiation therapists dosimetrists and all of them um, were in high demand but now recently they have added 20 more job categories into the it sector which is also in high demand so if you search for jobs in newfoundland labrador you will find a lot of it jobs out there because a lot of projects are going on right so if you're someone who's a software developer biomedical engineer ui ux developer electrical engineer ai developer mechanical engineer python developer web developer dot net developer infrastructure engineer and uh, you and other exempt positions uh, are technical specialists including like security specialists, cloud specialists, bioinformaticians, uh, computer network support specialists, research associates, data analytics experts, offshore technicians, all of these like go through this list and see if you are uh, you know fit somewhere here. Um, if you fit in this job categories, you can be confident that you might be selected to apply for permanent residency under this pathway okay but my advice is even though you you don't fall under this 20 job categories or how many job categories they have here you please go ahead and still apply who knows there would be some employer needing the skill set you want to bring in and there is no charge once again there is no charge to apply okay so i highly recommend to all you have to do is prepare a good resume, get your work permit and know the NOC code for which you want to apply and just get the application done. Right. So as simple as that. All right. So now the most important part of the video that is how to apply under this pathway step by step. So let me show you. All right. So here is the official website and more information on uh, the program and i'm going to cut to chase and show you step by step on how to apply so again i have linked it down below so there is five steps application very simple so what they have said supporting international graduates and temporary residents on open work permit to a permanent residency so that is this pathway all about so don't worry you know you have to apply under this pathway if you were not able to apply under tr to pr pathway who knows uh, and if you are willing to move to newfound labrador this might be a great option for you okay so are you a temporary resident legally entitled to work in canada so that would be a yes, right? Because you have a valid work permit. Now what you'll do is in this intake form, you'll input all your information, input the job code uh, you are working for, and then go ahead and uh, enter all this in all of the information. So let's get started. So I'll start with my name, uh, my year of birth, uh, country of origin, my phone number that's a fake number so don't try calling here okay my gmail this is my fake year of birth as well <laughs> I'm not going to reveal my age okay what's my current location I'm in Toronto okay so this is very simple it's just just took me one minute and uh, what is my knock code so my knock code is 2171 it's a knock code a and let's say my title is uh, business I would say IT business analyst or consultant or whatever right so IT business analyst consultant accountant whatever your title is you can put it here 
and then uh, what communities of Newfoundland Labrador you are interested I would say you are you, you can say just that you are open to working in all communities so let's just say that copy paste open to working in all communities uh, you don't want to restrict yourself right um, please leave this area blank if you don't have specific so let's keep this blank that's okay let's click this blank and move on to next so this information is done now you have to upload your resume so for pathway job matching initiative you are required to submit your resume it must clearly outline your education your work ex experience your skills if you do not have a resume there is a free template provided by the government of canada that you are encouraged to use okay so this is the template you are encouraged to use to complete a resume with this tool you must register uh, registration requires an email address only no other uh, personal information required simply create your standard account and then develop your resume and download it if you need help using this tool please uh, visit following link so i'm going to briefly open this um, here so this is the job you can just register here and find out the government uh, provided template and then create your sorry government provided template and then create your resume okay so but i'm not going to go into how to create your resume let me know in the comments below if you want to learn that but that is a different video so let's assume you have your resume already so let's just browse okay so it only accepts pdf png jpg and jpeg so it will not accept a word document so make sure you convert your resume into a pdf so that's what i've done i click on browse i click on my resume i go open and upload so hopefully this will accept because it's a very brief resume okay great so it has accepted my resume and i'm going on to the next one okay so now it's time to upload your work permit please upload a copy of your postgraduate work permit or open permit uh, if you're international graduate and you do not have not received a response from the government of canada on your postgraduate work permit application please submit a confirmation of application for PGWP. So even if you don't have your postgraduate work permit in your in front of you, you can still apply and submit the proof that you have applied for that. Please note that you must provide a truthful and factual information during this process. Engaging in misrepresentation, fraud or illegal activity could result in in your disqualification from the provis provincial immigration processes okay that's obvious and that's understood so what we'll do is we'll again browse i'll put my resume but you guys please upload your work permit i don't have a work permit because i'm a permanent resident so i'm just going to um, just put any document here and then click on upload and then just review that it's uploaded and go to next okay so the last step four out of five supporting by submitting my personal information and take the department to the government i consider that the department you know i'm sharing the information in accordance to following and blah 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 and lastly you click on submit and when you click on submit i'm not going to do this because i don't want to spam the system with you know test uh, applications but when i do submit i'm sure you will be you know given that it's submitted and all of that so that is the last step of the process so let me know in the comments below if you have any specific questions on this process but this is it this was hardly like five minutes if you had your resume ready and work permit ready so don't miss your chance go ahead and apply for this permanent residency program and give it a try for sure
uh okay guys so i hope this information for was useful for you and if you have any questions make sure you ask me in the comments below i provide regular videos and updates in immigration anything new happening around immigration and tier to peer pathway i'm uh, trying my best to post it i'm also posting other content on life in canada uh, and work uh, in Canada in general. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button. But thank you so much for watching and I hope this video was useful to you. Until my next video, please take care of yourself and stay safe. Bye-bye.